Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechView Snelp and today I am going to show you how to make a QR code for Android applications. Now as far as things goes, you can use this for other type of operating systems and um, which is perfectly fine but the actual code, because there is a code in case if you haven't seen it, I, um, I, I'll have to show you that because here's the thing on Android apps, uh, sometimes if you po post the actual link to the, the application on the Play Store, it works fine sometimes, but recently I've tried this three times for this particular application. I, um, I, I was sent to a search, uh, to Google search, searching for the application and not to the Play Store or something even link me to the Play Store. And uh, that's a problem. And, but this is with Google's on Google Goggles, which is a um, image scanner. And, and it's what I highly advise is is try to use one or two QR code scanners while you're doing this type of stuff, so you can get a good idea if it works. And if it works on two of them, you're pretty much golden. But as far as things goes, let's uh, let's talk more about this. So one thing I look for is free because you know you can make this stuff for free but and also download it for free but as far as the big thing i'm looking for is something that you can put a logo in the middle or in the background or something and that way the the user who's coming up to the actual image knows what are they getting into it, because if you look at this it's obviously not apple it's obviously not blackberry it's obviously not windows it's Android and um, that's that's pretty important so an Android user will expect this to work on their phone they might not know what it means unless if you got something written above or below or whatever but for the most part they expect it to work so as far as how you should put in your URL well it's simple you just need to put market and basically it's a HTTP HTTP and uh, then the, all the other stuff. It's market then the um, colon slash slash and uh, detail question mark ID and then the equal sign and then the package name. You can find a package name simply by going right here. This is after the equal ID. This is it. In fact. In fact, this is pretty much what you want. But um, this is it. This is the package name from there to there. So that's that's pretty important to note. Now, as far as that goes, once you have that, I advise you to test on one or two, and um, and make sure that you get on highest resolution. But test it on one or two and see if it works. If it works, then you're golden. If it doesn't work, then you might want to try some other service or um, modify it somewhere and uh, keep in mind that the logo the if you take away the logo the actual QR code does change so so it, if it doesn't work it's not because of the logo itself or it shouldn't be because of the logo now if you're making this I advise to make this purely black and white type of deal so it's easy as possible for the phone to, to see the stuff but anyways, this has been Craig Bent, the founder and owner of TechViews and Up, and a link to this page will be down below so you can actually use it for yourself, and I can find it easier for myself in the future. But um, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave them down there in the comments section, and I'll try to help you out as quickly as possible. And um, if you got any tips or whatnot, then also leave that down there. Now, if you like this, please leave a like, please subscribe, please share. Please visit techviewsnote.com and the other videos, and I'll be here for a great day.